Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm a wife and mother, I'm a photographer, and I'm a children's book lover, which is what prompted me to start the Facebook group Little Ones Literary Review. It's just a Facebook group of other parents giving their own personal recommendations and reviews and talking all about books that they're loving in their home. And I really wanted to come on here and share with you some Thanksgiving books that I'm loving this year. I've got four that kind of have just been on repeat since like September because we really leaned into fall heavily this year. This one is new to me, though I see it reviewed everywhere and I totally know why. It's so good. It's called Balloons Over Broadway. And this is the true story all about how the Macy's Thanksgiving Day balloons were invented. To be honest, I had never even really given it much thought before I read this book. Um, this has been making the rounds on like every must read Thanksgiving book list. And so I went right over to my library and put it on hold. And as soon as it came, I ran over and got it. This book is so great. Basically, it's just a guy and he had a great idea. Um, he loved puppets, he loved marionettes, and he just modified his idea to make it bigger and bigger and to make it great for a parade. And I just love that idea. Um, first of all, the parade I think is so quintessential to Thanksgiving for so many people. Watching the parade, um, you know, talking about it with their family, waiting for the band from their state to come by and so kind of having some of the history of you know of where the balloons came from they were inspired by the windows at macy's it kind of just added to the conversation and it's a great book about using your your brains to come up with a really cool idea doing something that hasn't been done before which i love this book too the illustrations are a combination of um drawings and also um, collages. Um, they're just great. They're bold and they're beautiful. And I really love this book. This is a good one. So this is a fun one. We'll probably read over and over again and not just during Thanksgiving, but it's a good time of year to bring it out. This one, Thanks for Thanksgiving, is just like a cute little scholastic book. It's very simple and that's kind of why I like it. The idea of gratitude, I think can be as simple as just being thankful for what you have. And so I kind of love this book just goes through and each page describes something else to be thankful for. Thank you for dress up, red shoes and big hats. Thanks for umbrellas, for rain boots and puddles. Really pretty illustrations. Um, I love the, the bold outlines and the colors and I kind of just love how simple it can be to just sit and talk about everything in your life that you just love and you're thankful for. And so I like this one. This has been fun to read with my four year old. This one's new to me. I actually was talking with the librarians at my local library about um, Thanksgiving books. And I was like, I don't have a lot of like favorites. And the librarian said, oh, well, you know, it was the night before Thanksgiving, right? And I said, no. <laughs> she said, how can that be? Let me find it for you. So this is um, by Dave Pilkey. And I think that's why um, it's well known. He's such a well-known children's author and illustrator, and he has some great stuff. But this is totally the first year that I'm reading this book. Um, and it is pretty cute. It's about a class of kids who takes a field trip to a turkey zoo. A <laughs> turkey zoo. <laughs> a turkey farm the day before Thanksgiving. I think you see where this is going, which is why I'm going to add the disclaimer that this is definitely a book for older children or children who completely understand where the food on our table comes from. Um, because that's what this book is about. This class of children go to a turkey farm and they realize what's gonna to happen to these turkeys come Thanksgiving and they are not happy about it. How cute is this? This is the farmer and their teacher. Um, obviously a throwback to the American Gothic illustration. So cool. So what the kids do is they, first of all, very upset about it. They are very, very upset about this once they realize what's gonna to happen to all their new turkey friends. So they um, devise a plan to sneak those turkeys out of the farm and I'm not going to spoil for you what happens, but it's a really cute story. Definitely if your kid loves Dog Man, um, he's the author of that, so this would kind of fit right into that style of books that they're already loving, and it's cute, it's fun. This is a great one. The last one, which is new to us, um, Thanksgiving in the Woods. This one is one that I added to my must-buy list for this year's Thanksgiving. I love buying holiday books, all holidays. Every single holiday, I think, warrants, um, warrants a new book. So Thanksgiving in the Woods is a true story based on a family in upstate New York who has been hosting a big Thanksgiving feast outside for like 20 plus years. And this is the kind of book that just makes you feel cozy. Um, the illustrations are warm. 
The text is so great. It just makes you feel friendly. We drive over rutted fields that down a slope to a clearing under trees that reach to the clouds. I see the cousins building a fort right next to the little stream, a perfect place for our own Thanksgiving in the woods. I just kind of love this story. And I love this idea of um, introducing our children to having Thanksgiving with um, our neighbors and our friends and being thankful for that opportunity, being thankful for our neighbors. And so this is like a really sweet, I'm really loving this. Some neighbors are already at the site. Here, help stack up some kindling, Grandpa says. And we do, running whenever someone calls. We all need to help if we're gonna have Thanksgiving in the woods. I really like this book. I'm excited to kind of read it. And we're probably gonna get cozy on the couch and read it by the fire and imagine that we were having a nice cozy Thanksgiving in upstate New York. Um, Cause it just, it feels so Hallmark movie-ish, right? but it's a children's book and that's so awesome. So we've got four really great books that I'm loving this year that I hope that you'll have welcome into your family and that you guys will love them just as much. Four very different books actually, which is kind of really fun this year. So thanks, tell me what Thanksgiving books I'm missing and what I need to get on my list for next year's holiday. Happy Thanksgiving.